Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Tuesday, June 5, 2018. This is an update on the trials and tribulations, and they are trials and tribulations, of trying to get this 283 back where she originally was. And I, rather than try to go through the details myself, I'll, I'll let John and RJ sort of give a, a uh, rundown of the problems we're having. Uh, they're not solved and what ideas they have for trying to solve them. Take it away, guys. Well, we're trying to align the prop shaft right now with the engine, and uh, proper alignment is important because if the shaft spins free, as we have it right here, it's a wonderful thing. There's no power taken away from the motor at all. There's no restriction because of heat on the, str on the uh, strut. And there's just a lot less problems when everything's aligned right. What we have come up with for a problem is everything was so tight and uh, I don't know if this was a homeowner installation at one time or not but the uh, engine we were having trouble lining it up and you're supposed to be able to stick a feeler gauge in the bottom and the sides to make sure you have the same amount on the bottom top and sides. Um, this over. So we're we've been moving the motor up and down and around and prying it sideways and everything and then we decided we needed a little more clearance in the keel. So we had to do a little bit of work to the keel. And of course because we've got a little bit of raw wood in there we'll have to do some work afterwards to seal it back up and get it covered back up. But John, why don't you show the uh, shaft log and how it's it's okay. All shiny on one side. This is the shaft log, and as you can see, the inside of it was wore right here. Um, what was happening there is the uh, motor wasn't in properly, things weren't aligned properly, and it was putting pressure on the side of this with the shaft. Um, also, there was pressure inside of the keel, and there was pressure on the strut, and the reason we know that is because we had to replace the drive shaft with a new one because the old one had wear spots in yeah, three different places. RJ's going to bring and it over. RJ's going to bring it right over here and present the wear patterns. We have, this is all wore right here. It was definitely hitting the shaft log here in the hole that was heading right through here. This is wore quite a bit right here. It's got a groove right in it. There's grooves in this, grooves in this. And then on the other end where it was in the rubber, in the strut, in the strut it's actually it was twisted sideways, so there's pressure in this area right here where you yeah, can it's, see it's wore. It's got a wore. bunch of line, wear lines in it. So, yeah, it was the proper alignment, we shouldn't have that. That must have been robbing probably 20 horsepower out of the motor, if not more. After it warms up, it was definitely robbing more. So are we close to there yet? It looks like the port side is uh, still open. Yeah, we've still got we've still got some doctrine to do on it. Um, go up a little in the back, right? Yes. The bottom's open. Yes, the bottom's open. But we still have room. We, we made enough room so we still have a little room to play. Yeah, we're So we'll let these guys keep learning, uh, working here and trying to get this together and we'll have an update when they do. Um, but the lesson of this video is hey, we got just because you can get the bolts through the holes doesn't mean everything is good. Uh, that, those two couplers, those two faces have to be absolutely mated, absolutely square, 360 degrees. Or you're really asking for trouble, you are putting undue stress on okay, not the entire drive line, the transmission, the strut, shaft log. Fuel mileage. Oh, that's right, fuel mileage. Horsepower sinks and it also contributes to an, an early uh, Rebuild because you will be putting undue pressure on the engine as well. For the front. Where did I 
So we'll let these guys keep fighting this engine and this driveline and be back to you soon. Thank you so much. Goodbye for now from Snake Mountain Boat Works.